Hello and welcome. Hey, thanks for joining. Today we're going to take a look at filters as they apply to galleries within a Power App. So if you get these filter queries done wrong, I'm going to show you an anomaly that I have using a toggle as a filter. Uh, this, this can get very frustrating for you. So I'm going to show you first the problem, then we're going to go into the solution. So stay tuned. All right, so let's take a look at this. So this is a simple uh, application. Notice here you have three green, orange, and blue. They're all three different um, items within a table, right? So, so three different galleries is what I'm trying to say. So here inside of notes, we have we just want to collect things that are note based, and here we want to collect things that are task based. And notice we have some more detail and things like that. And this right here, test three two two three T and N. This should be a note. This should be a task. So let's go ahead and change this to a note. So to do that, we're just going to click there. We're going to say note or task says it says task. I'm just going to put note, and I'm going to hit save. Now, when I hit save, it's going to automatically move itself over into um, the note section. And this is what we want. The, this is what we want. If they call it a note, we want it to go inside of notes. If they call it a task, we want it to go inside of tasks. So now watch. This is the anomaly. This is what happens. So I'm going to open this back up and I have to give it a minute or so to kind of... Um, do all of its updates because we're automatically counting and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But let's go ahead and just open it up. We're going to keep it as a note, but we're going to add some more text to it. We can do whatever. And then we're going to hit save. Now, hopefully the patch. Good. Now, as soon as we hit save, it automatically flipped it over to be a task. But we didn't tell it to be a task. We told it to continue to be a note. And when you go in, the toggle has moved. This is <laughs> very frustrating. So here's how I got around it. I'm not really sure where the toggle problem is. I know toggles don't necessarily like to work with large data sets. So, um, but I do know that there was there is a problem, and the problem is with the way that the data. Let me go ahead and just update this real quick. It's the way that the data is inside of the table. So let's take a look here. So here instead, now notice when I refresh the data here, I have the task here and I have the note back where it is. And if I, if I work on this and I make a change or I do something to it, right? And I hit save, okay, which I don't know if I can get to it with that cancel bar right there. Hold on. And I hit, oops, and I hit save. There we go. Now the information. Remember last time when we did that, this note jumped over to be a task, and of course it's staying as a note, which is the way we want it. So what did we do differently, and what did we learn? So first of all, to set this up, this is a field inside of the table. So this is a field and. And it was set at, let me look at my notes here. It was set at note with a toggle field. And that's what was toggling it back and forth. So then I just changed the field to a, a, a uh, text field. Now, let's go ahead and go into that field. Take a look at what that gal says. So the first one is, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, gal notes. Oops. Okay, so all right, gal notes. Why aren't you? Oh, because I'm looking in the wrong area. All right, gal notes. Okay, so here you go. So here, um, this is this gallery right here, gal notes. And when I look at this, it now says note type equals no or no. Okay. Important. Note that it says equals here let me look at the other one that says order tasks now for some of you you may want to say i just want to put this note type equals yes okay i found it better just to one is true and one is false okay so here um we're going to say it's not equal to no okay we want it to not equal to no 
the the flip of this was that it used to say tog it used to say note here equals false and it, it didn't work right for some reason and even when i changed it to be not equals to false right and the other just in case i had it wrong it still didn't work right so the answer to this issue is that i just turned this into a text field so you can see my toggle still there but i just turned this into a text field and if i say yes here and hit go it's going to automatically move that note into the task column and then i can go back again and do the same thing and move it back so the key the key takeaway here is um when you're setting up these flips inside of these galleries to display different information just be aware now this archive one seems to work pretty consistently just be aware that sometimes the toggle switches can be a little temperamental and uh, you may want to if you're using them as a filter source you may want to and you're having problems go back to a single uh, text field and just use yes or no yes so people have to type in yes or no instead of hitting a toggle but it's really not that big of a deal and it will add some consistency to your application